Hi there guys, so Squid Game X has got their final game mode out. So the update has just come out. I suggest you go play it right away because it's absolutely amazing. Um, they've done the lobby, absolutely beautiful new lobby. It really looks lovely, colorful, really nice and peaceful. Lots of peace before you get into the madness of all the games. Um, but yeah, they've really done everything beautiful. And as you can see, your head moves, it tilts everywhere you look, it sort of moves with you, which is a really nice little feature they've added. And so you can see also the shops and everything, they've slightly changed as well, different colours, uh, for the better I see. So as you join in, you get to pick your player or a god still that you can purchase with Robux or with in-game coins. So, the first game is obviously your red light, green light. You have got the music now to help you along. So, um, just follow the music. And when she stops singing, you obviously stop. Uh, so, that's a nice feature that they've, uh, they've done as well. Um, I think it's a lot easier because a lot of people was dying on the red light, green light. Also, I noticed on the red light, green light, um, once you've gone past, the, uh, at the end, the, the line, you can't come back onto the field. Again, that was nice because everybody was kind of, if you're not running fast like me, well I wasn't, I've, I've upgraded my speed now and everything, but people was coming back on the field and trying to put you off, naughty. Uh, but yeah, they can't put you off now, so you can just go at your own speed and walk and get to that line to get your coins and don't get shot. So yeah, really just take your time and get to the end because um, this can be a tricky one, this one, especially if you um, haven't got your sound on, which sometimes I forget to do. You just have to rely on the red lights uh, coming up. Then the next game mode obviously is the honeycomb. Again, a lovely, lovely, lovely map. This is my favorite map, so I love this honeycomb. And uh, nice, easy game except if you have the star if you've got the star that's a little bit awkward um i did fast forward this video so this is not how fast i'm not very skilled at this but um yeah just take your time and you'll be absolutely fine then we've got the tug of war now oh my goodness this map they've done the map beautifully again this update has really really um made this game such so beautiful lovely lovely map this one um, so yeah, hopefully you just need to be on the, the right team for the tug of war, that is a 50-50 really. Next is the brawl at night, uh, again I have fast forward this because I'm just like running around crazy. Um, I did notice the blood have changed slightly, so that's sort of like oozing out of you every time you get hit or you hit someone. And then you have the marbles. Now again, this is another one that's a little bit awkward, you just have to guess. But what they have done, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautifully done again. So it's like grey and pink and it's a lot easier. I think it looks beautiful, this one. Very, very posh. Love it. Um, so yeah, you just, uh, just have to guess on this round. And then after this one, you've got the glass. Now, of course, I was the glass maker. So, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I've got like glass maker twice now in, uh, in game. So that's really good because this is what you have to be, glass maker. As you can see, you can see all the red glasses. So red, you don't jump on. And the glass colored ones, you obviously do. So it's quite easy to follow and uh, you just get your team to just follow you and then uh, you can go on to the squid game because you don't want to be there on your own you want to get to that squid game and have someone to fight so the moment we have all been waiting for so you automatically get um, teleported into the squid game and it's the red light green light map but a little bit um dull and uh, you basically have to be the last one standing to win. It's great. So well, there's only one winner by the time you get here, which is what the Squid Game's about. Um, so basically, if you go out of this Squid Game zone, you lose. So you want to stay um, in this area. Now, like me, let the others fight and push the way out. 
Um, and then uh, try and be like the uh, the sort of the second one in. Let them all fight it off. You just run around a bit, and uh, and yeah, and then you see the, the raids come as well. Oh my god, it's fabulous! But you basically just push your button, and you can see you can just yeah, just push them out. Obviously. I lost that one, but I did get my life back because it's 200 and I had 200 coins. So I thought I'm just going to buy it back because you get you get it back anyway. So uh, yeah, if you're the last one, if you've got 200, you may as well spend it because you get it back again. So thanks for watching, guys, and please play this fabulous game. Take care. Bye.